In the book Russian Icons by Father Vladimir Ivanov, recently rediscovered, we find the most interesting collection of Christian icons. It is of high interest for two reasons. Number one, it depicts the various Christian icons as black. And number two, this is not found in Western Europe, but well in Eastern Europe and Russia. This means that black people were venerated as deities from Spain to France, Italy, Germany, and all the way to Russia. In some, all over Europe. There are at least 500 black Madonnas in Europe, not counting the ones hidden in the Vatican, 128 in France alone. And you need to remember that these icons survived multiple waves of iconoclasm. This means that in the past, they would have been ubiquitous throughout Europe, before the great artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo were commissioned to start painting the classic Europeanized face of Jesus that we know today. So then, as always, if we ask the critical questions, if the mainstream historical narrative is true and that black people have never achieved anything of note in history, why then were they depicted and venerated all over Europe? Even more intriguing, what were black people doing in so many depictions, descriptions, sculptures and plays in Europe at all? For those who have been listening, it is simply because they were present in such numbers and it yielded such influence that even the planned erasure and systematic destruction of the icon survived from Western Europe to Eastern Europe from Germany to Italy, 